The road stabilization application process begins in SoilWorks state-of-the-art geotechnical lab. Before any product is put into the soil, the correct admixture of soil tack must be tested and verified. In our laboratory, we're taking the, the different types of soils that we'll be working with on site and we'll be basically making those, the same product in the laboratory, testing its strength, all of its different properties, to optimize our results. And then once we decide what's an optimal result we're looking for, then we use those application rates and then we repeat that in the field on a larger scale. Once the correct project-specific admixture is verified in the lab, the field application can begin. SoilWorks Chairman and CEO Chad Falkenberg explains the goal of today's application. Today what we're doing is, is we're road building. We're using our soil tack product where we're mixing it into the ground about six inches deep to provide a, a solid, stable base for people to drive on that's stable in, in all sorts of weather. What that's going to do is it's going to harden the ground and allow us to create a, a very hard, stable road so that they don't fall apart when, when it's too wet out and they don't turn too dusty when it's dry. The first step in the field process is to fill the computerized distributor trucks with water and then top them off with the soil tack concentrate based on the lab admixture optimization results. Recirculating pumps are used to ensure a uniform soil tack dilution inside the tanks. Multiple computerized distributor trucks are filled with soil tack dilution to streamline the procedure. The trucks filled with the soil tack dilution are then secured directly to a specialized road reclaimer. At this point, the soil tack dilution is pumped through the reclaimer and it is injected into the soil over a large milling head. As you can see, the 800 horsepower four-wheel drive reclaimer has a large eight-foot wide, four-foot tall milling head that is made up of over 200 individual hardened tungsten carbide teeth. This allows the reclaimer to chew through the soil while injecting the soil tack dilution with ease at an average of 50 feet per minute. The result is perfectly uniform soil and soil tack blend at optimum moisture levels. One of the most important things that you can look for here on, this, on these types of projects and road building when you're working with native soils is making sure that you're achieving optimum moisture. If the ground is too dry, it will not compact. If it's too wet, it, you're going to create mud. So our goal is really to achieve optimum moisture. In order to make sure that optimum moisture is being achieved, the crew takes speedy moisture tests throughout the project. A precise amount of soil and chemical reagent is measured and then shaken to create pressure. The pressure gauge gives a reading of the moisture content in the soil. We've taken our speedy moisture reading, and so what we're looking for is taking a sample of the soil, squeezing it in our hand, and making sure that we can create a nice tight ball. The more the more that we squeeze this, the denser and denser that this should get. So that when we go to compact the road, it gets tighter and tighter and harder and harder. Had this been too wet, we would find that as we squeeze it, it would squeeze through our fingers and it would start to, we could play with it like clay. Um, or if it were too dry and we were below optimum, you'd find that this would just crumble in your hands and we wouldn't be able to form uh, a nice tight ball. So what we're looking at here is, is good, and, and this just confirms by looking at it in the field that it matches our, our data from the speedy moisture. We, we have indeed achieved optimum moisture, and this is ready for shaping and compacting. The first step of the compacting is the sheep's foot compactor. What a sheep's foot does is it has like a bunch of spiked feet in it, and what that's doing is it's basically kneading the soil Rather than just vibrating or, or pushing down on it, it's kneading it like clay, because clay is compact much better by kneading them rather than vibrating them or just simply compressing them. So we use a sheep's foot on a project like this. And what you're left with is the sheep's feet will go into the ground, and then as you continue to, to roll over it with multiple passes, those feet will stop going into the ground and they'll start sitting on top of the ground. And that's when you know you've kneaded the ground enough and you know you're getting compaction because those feet aren't going into the ground, they're sitting on top of it. We've made two passes with the sheep's foot. We're gonna follow up behind that with a road grader. The road grader is gonna be doing his rough grade to shape the road so we have a crown on the road so that when the rain comes, the water's coming on the road and it's coming off into the ditch where it belongs rather than staying on the road and destabilizing the base. Next, we bring in the pneumatic rubber tire compactors. These nine independent rubber tire rollers prevent soil from sticking to the compactor while finding any soft spots or problem areas and compacting them. 
After the initial compaction with the pneumatic compactors, it's time for the large 10 to 20 ton vibratory steel drum. What we're doing there, we're, we're vibrating the ground, we're putting a lot of force into compacting the ground, and it's a nice large steel drum that allows us to get a nice smooth surface so that when you're driving the, down the road, everything is nice and even and you don't feel any corrugation on the surface. After the soil is compacted with the steel drum, it's time for the final grading. The blade fans out the remaining soil to create the perfect smooth crown to the road, followed with the final surface compaction using the steel drum compactor. Up next is the finishing touch, a topical seal coat of the SoilTech product. SoilWorks computerized distributor truck will spray a uniform surface seal over the top of the SoilTech stabilized road. Our goal with the topical seal coat of the soil tack over the top of the stabilized base is really twofold. One is we're helping control the dust, we're creating a surface crust that's dust free, but we're also sealing that ground so that when the rains come, that water's going off the crown of the road and into the ditch where the water belongs, not into the ground and destabilizing that road and creating those ruts and potholes. In just a matter of minutes, the soil tack dries clear, revealing the natural beauty of a native soil stabilized road. Now the polymer itself is gonna to continue to cure, similar to like cement, over about a 28 day period. So even though we're, we're opening this up to traffic in a matter of hours, it's gonna to continue to get harder and harder and harder over about a month's period. In just one day, a stabilized road is created and ready for traffic using the soil tack product. Whether your needs are commercial, industrial, or military, you can count on SoilWorks to combine your business goals with their knowledge, state-of-the-art soil technology, and environmental best practices to meet your objectives.